equestrian friends it's me Lisa the budget equestrian welcome back to another video and today we are in my car because I am gonna go look at some open houses not saying that I'm gonna move but I think it's fun to go and look at the other houses that are potentially that something we could move into so I thought it would be fun to take you on a trip with me as I go look at some different horse properties that are in my local area that are for sale. And it's always fun to go look and see, don't you think? So let's go look at some horse properties. with stalls that were already inside and the one thing I really liked was that the stalls were completely inside so if the weather turned bad then I'd be able to keep my horses in so that was nice it was a little further away than I wanted off of the main road so I'm thinking winter time that road would not be very much fun to drive on but overall it was a really nice house but the one that I'm really excited to share with you guys, that open house starts in about an hour. So we're gonna go check it out when it's really time for the open house. So I'm actually coming back home just for a few minutes and I'm gonna change my shirt cause it's hot and then we'll go to the other open house.
the first open house that I went to was really nice. The house was beautiful, at least the upstairs was. The downstairs still had some work that needed to be done, but I could see that it would be very livable. Everything was very well cared for and it was really nice. The barn was really nice as well. It had two stalls that I could put my horses in, we could just move right in. And the entire property was fenced, so it would be fine for our dogs too. So literally we could basically move into that house and it would be awesome. And there were a couple of things that I wasn't really too excited about either in that house. The kitchen, while it was nice, it didn't have granite countertops. And I don't know, maybe I'm a snob, but I really like my granite countertops. The windows were okay and they were in decent condition, but we just had our windows replaced last year and they're really nice. So that would have been kind of a down thing too. Another thing was this house is huge. This house was like almost 4,000 square feet, which is a little less than half the size of the house that we currently live in. So yes, it was a ranch, which was awesome. Definite plus. It had a main floor laundry, definite plus. But there were some things that weren't, you know, exactly what I wanted. So while it was a really nice house and the realtor was awesome, they did a fabulous job staging this home. It made, made me want to like live there, right? Just like that. The second home was really nice and that was the open house that I really wanted to go to because it checked off a lot of the things that I would really hope to have in a new home or something that's going to make me want to move. The barn was incredible. It was awesome. Yeah, it needed some work, but it had running water and it had electricity in the barn. It already had the stalls done. The mats were inside as well, which was awesome. There was a huge tack room and there were paddocks all over the property, but there's a lot of trees on this property. I would say it is a very heavily treed lot, which is really nice. But with that many trees, I do worry about wildfires and with that many trees, in close proximity to the house, I would be a little bit concerned with the potential for fire. So even though the trees are awesome and they're beautiful and they're super tall, that was one thing that was kind of like, eh, I'm not too crazy about. The house itself was adorable. They had redone it so tastefully. It had beam ceilings, it had real hardwood floors. The house was built in 1970 but they had just come in and redone all of the wiring, redone all of the plumbing. And I think they did a really nice job of updating the house and bringing it to 2019, 2020, instead of leaving it in the 70s. And this house is on 20 acres of land. So that's plenty to do whatever we wanted to do with. This house even has a swimming pool and it has a really nice arena and it even has an extra garage so you can put the tractor in the garage and it had some really cool like beams that I could use as cross ties so lots of potential in this home but again this house was huge this house was 4500 square feet so really big and a lot of space for just me and my husband and our dogs and our two horses the barn had six stalls Plus it had space for shavings as well as hay and it did have a really nice tack room. But the really big house on the 20 acres with the barn, the pool, everything, that house was listed at $850,000. That is out of my budget, but it was an open house and I really wanted to see it because something like that is exactly what I've been looking for. The first house that I looked at, that is listed at $699,000. That house was on five acres. It had the barn. It did have paddocks behind it, but you'd have to go outside, which it really isn't a bad thing because then I wouldn't have to worry about my horses getting full of snow when a blizzard comes. Both of the houses were a little bit further out than where we live now. And while I was driving down the roads, it was like, this could be kind of sketchy in a blizzard or even just in the winter time. But I really had fun looking at both of these houses. And this is why I like to go to open houses, especially if they're equestrian properties. Number one, because it's fun to dream. And both of these houses checked off a lot of the must haves for me. And it's also a lot of fun after you've gone to open houses to come back and really assess your home and what can you do to make your home better. Like the house we live in now, I love our house. It's been our home for over 10 years. This is where my kids grew up. We've pretty much made it almost exactly what we want it to be. And 
I'm really grateful for the house that we do have now. So when you go and look at an open house, then it's fun to come home and kind of get to work on your house and see what you would like to do to improve it. It was a lot of fun looking at those houses. They're, they were nice. With the staging and seeing how perfectly manicured they were, and after the open houses, I came home and started cleaning up and really just taking a little more pride in my home that I have right now. It's not a bad home. I love my home very much. And like I said, I'm really grateful for the house that I have. And sometimes that's why I like to go to open houses, especially if you see a house that isn't as nice as where you live or there's a lot of clutter, then it helps you to really appreciate what you have where you're living right now. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I'd love if you'd subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture, my picture right over here with Frisbee. You can subscribe to my channel and make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.